welcome back to another pretty HD video. It's Christmas! And yes, it is Christmas Day, and it's the second episode of the game of uh, the game of the week, the 12 days of Christmas. So, day one, uh, video two for the 12 days of Christmas, it started off really well with Christmas FIFA, and now we're going in to the game of the week of tomorrow's game, but of course, uh, the Boxing Day games, I like to upload them at least 24 hours in advance of kickoff for any game. So this is a Christmas Day game of the week. Either way, let's get straight into it. I am busy. It's the Christmas vibe at the moment, isn't it, going around. So I will have to get away straight away and pretty much leave you with the game plan music with mm, minute, two minutes to go maximum. So either way, let's get into the stats. It's going to be a very simple and to the point game of the week. West Ham have not won on any of their last eight league visits to Stamford Bridge. They've drew two and lost six. The Hammers' win, last win at Chelsea, was in September 2002, when, guess who, Paolo Di Canio scored twice to propel Ch uh, West Ham to a 3-2 win. Their only previous Boxing Day meeting came in 73, when Ron Greenwood's Hammers won 4-2 at Stamford Bridge, despite being 2-0 down at half-time. Guess who the scorers? Frank... Lampard Senior, uh, uh, of course his son, Frank Lampard Jr, played for both West Ham and Chelsea. Chelsea have won all eight of their Premier League home matches this season. The Blues were unbeaten in their last nine Boxing Day games. They've won five and drew four. Diego Costa has scored eight goals in his seven Premier League appearances at Stamford Bridge this season. That is fabulous. He's such an absolutely fantastic striker. He's, in, he's sensational. This is the eighth time that a club managed by Jose Mourinho has been top of the league at Christmas on the previous seven occasions with Porto, Chelsea, Inter Milan and Real Madrid. He has gone on to win the title. So, basically... If the stats are anything to go by, Chelsea have won it this year. They've got a long way to go, only on a mere three-point lead on City. But they are in hot precision. They are in prime uh, position to definitely win the league. West Ham have won four of their last five Premier League matches. They've been excellent this year, West Ham United. They have been out of this world. Um, and to find themselves in fourth at Christmas, it is, it's, it's been a fabulous season. And I mean... Yeah, the the lowest they're going to finish now is 10th, or, I mean, and 10th for them is good, so expectations shouldn't be drilling around that camp, around, uh, the, around Upton Park, but really, I mean, realistically, this team, West Ham United, what, you really don't know what they're going to do, I mean, their home ground, the Billing Ground, they've made it into a fortress, they, they've just... They've been superb, and if they continue this, then it would be fabulous. I think they will probably finish around 8th, maybe. Um, They won't finish 4th, surely. I mean, surely not. Surely not. No, surely not. I mean, Southampton are in 5th, West Ham in 4th. It's been an insane season for quite a few um lower clubs, for example. And Everton, Spurs, Liverpool, part of the top 7 last year. All of them were part of the top 7 didn't aren't currently performing in all competitions um maybe except Spurs and Everton performing quite well in the Europa League but West Ham uh the last time they were in the top four of the top line Christmas Day was back in 1985 they finished that season in third so again that was a long time ago but last time they did do it they finished well West Ham have already won nine matches this season they only won 11 in total in the hold of the 2013-14 campaign 11 matches they won last year this year it's been an absolutely smashing and cracking Nine already, and we are only at Christmas. The Hammers have scored in their last eight Premier League away games. The last time they scored in nine away games in a row was back in December 1999 to May 2000. That, take, that took nine matches. So that is all the stats. It does kick off at Stamford Bridge at 12.45. Of course, on the 26th of December 2014, one of the, it is one of well, joint final game of the uh, the Premier League ever in 2014. It's been an incredibly quick year and I just can't come to terms and can't quite believe or take in that um, and let, allow it to sink in that it's Christmas Day 2014 already. It's just, 
it's absolutely mental but the table as it stands before all the games of course Liverpool 10th Everton 11th Spurs 7th Chelsea on top Man City 2nd Man United having a decent season so far in 3rd but still Really, Man City and Chelsea are running away in the race. West Ham in fourth and Southampton sit two points behind in fifth. Arsenal are level on points with Spurs in sixth. Swansea eighth. They accumulated nine points in three games but have dropped off ever since. Um, and apart from that, QPR in danger of relegation along with Palace. Burnley, Hull and Leicester sit in the relegation zone. Leicester have only earned ten points from 17 games. Dreadful, dreadful currently from Leicester. But have you heard about this? Can you actually believe this? Um, if I'm honest, I'll show you what's going on now, right? Heskey has signed for Bolton. Emil Heskey has signed for Bolton. Yes, I know. That is absolutely insane. Emil Heskey signs for Bolton. Oh, and there's that player that went missing as well. The one with the the long hair, the one, the Blackpool player. I forgot his name. How can I forget his name? He's been dismissed from his previous three clubs for lack of discipline, and now I can't find his name. How did I forget that? But anyway, yeah, um, he's been missing. He's disappeared, which is weird. But either way, uh, I think I will pretty much end this video today. Uh, now I will let you watch all the rogue electronic if you want to know the song title it's just my intro uh song and i'll leave you with the gameplay simulation of course of 15 currently chelsea are in the one nil lead what are my predictions for this game i think although chelsea uh, although west ham are doing very well i can't see them winning this london derby and i mean yeah it's the first v fourth and it's not only a london derby it's the first v fourth so that's pretty amazing but I just can't see them winning this London derby. So anyway, that will wrap it up for me. I do thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you smash the like button. It's Christmas Day. I can't hope enough that you really, really enjoy your Christmas. The same way that hopefully I will uh, to continue. And, well, all that's left now after today is New Year. So it's all be gone in a flash. So make sure you make the most of it. Um, I do hope you appreciate that I am done a double upload on Christmas Day and will do up until the 5th of January. Of course, I haven't not uploaded since the 19th of January. That was my last day where I missed a day. So, um, it's been a pretty insane run up to Christmas and I really, really hope that you appreciate and enjoy the rewards that I'm giving you for being such an amazing fan base and such an amazing subscribing fan base and that's what Christmas is all about uh, saying thanks and I suppose my only gift to you now is the videos which will be coming out on the 12 days of Christmas if you haven't already then make sure you do subscribe make sure you check out my 12 days of Christmas video update I know that it doesn't reach many people because it's not one of them videos which is entertaining as such but if you want to know what the 12 days of Christmas is you got all the information and all the updates coming right on your screens if you click the annotation now so anyway do thank you for watching if you did enjoy make sure you smash the like button and I will see you next time